if you want to make your ex regret that she dumped you, do yourself a favor and start working towards your goals and purpose in life. Hey guys, this is Chris. Today we want to talk about how I bought my second property. A little bit over one year after I bought my first one, you can watch a video right here how I got my first property. All in all, I did not really put any of my personal money down to that property. What happened was I did a cash out refund. So in about August of 2019, this is pretty much one year after my uh, purchase of my primary property that I discussed last time, I made a cash out refi of $7,600. I have everything written here on my spreadsheet. I suggest you when you have a business or properties or any type of hustle that you want to do, you keep a very good track of everything. A little bit before that, uh, Bitcoin was starting to gain traction and I got $4,000 as a loan from a friend of mine for a few months and pretty much I doubled, a little bit more than doubled my money with Bitcoin. So I invested $4,000, my friend's money, and I think at the time I had maybe $1,000 of my money, but that's besides the point. So I a little bit more than doubled. So I cashed out 10,000 and change. So 7,600 plus 5,000 profit is $12,600. Now watch what happens. The 7,600 is equity pulled out of my house. I actually lowered my payment with the refinance because I removed the PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. I'm not sure if I've talked about that. Maybe I have in my previous videos on real estate. You can check the whole real estate playlist here and the links down below. And now I found this property from a seller. I believe it was on Zillow, but I'm not 100% sure. Or was it a sign that I saw when I was driving by? I think it was on Zillow for sale by owner. And the property was listed for $65,000. I negotiated with her and we struck a deal for $63,000. The property is one bedroom, one bathroom. It is an awesome property. Right now is under renovation. As you can see in this video, they're pulling the floor, they're pull, they pulled out the cabinets and everything, but I'll make a video about the renovation process. Maybe in two weeks it's gonna be done. So how the numbers work, 63,000 and we installed a roof. It cost us $3,000 and the seller decided that she's okay with splitting the roof with me. So 63,000 purchase price and $1,500 for roof. Actually, now when I see in my notes, it's $1,200 for roof. I spent 550 for appraisal and $85 for four point inspection. That's all I needed to do for the property. Closing cost I see here is 2,776. So let's round it up to 2,800 and $9,750 down. At the time I put 15% down on this property. So all in, on this property for down payment closing plus down payment is twelve thousand five hundred dollars and again how much i pulled out cash from my first property seventy six hundred and then how much i made on bitcoin 5k and up so that exactly covered what i needed to put down here yes we might make the argument that i put twelve hundred for roof and like six hundred and some dollars for inspection and um appraiser but you get the point. Second property, almost zero down. It came with a tenant who was paying at the time 690. And when the lease was up, I upped the rent to 730, which was also below the market rent. Right now I'm gonna Airbnb the property and I'll keep you informed how that goes. Other expenses I've had on the property, I uh, bought a washing machine from scratch and dent uh, at I think Lowe's. It was $104, a brand new machine a little dented on one side, which no one cares about. Brand new machine. Then I have a HVAC filters, $20. I had to replace the HVAC system uh, a couple months ago. I have a video somewhere on YouTube here. Uh, it cost me $3,200 and basically that's it. And now I have a new expense. I see here $11,000 for renovation. But so far, let me tell you how much it netted me. So the numbers are the following. If we don't include the renovation, let's say I made that video last month, okay? And my tenant was just getting out. I am minus on the property after the HVAC, after a down payment, after all the expenses, everything. I am minus $1,229. So I'm making somewhere along the lines of 250 a month in cash flow, like I see here between 150 and 170. Also, I did refinance that property. I did not cash out. I did only refinance to lower my interest rate and that lowered my payment from 451. Right now is 368. That's about $80 more in cash flow just because I did the, the loan, the refinance, and I did not pay any closing costs on the refinance. 
at the time. Right now on investment properties, you might have to end up paying for closing costs. There is a very good app that I've told you before. It's called Deal Check. I believe I have the data there so I can tell you how much the cost of cash is. So currently on a rent of 715, not 730, because my tenants have a little bit of a discount if they pay before the first. So 715 was this tenant's rent if he pays before the first. So I'm taking the worst case scenario. And on a down payment of 1250, my monthly cash flow is 217. My cap rate is 9.9% and my cost of cash and my cash on cash return is 18.2%, which is great. I think earlier I said cost of cash. I'm sorry, cash on cash return we're talking about. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail to add all the new stuff that I put into the property. All I'm gonna tell you is that two years later, I bought this property 2019, it's almost two years, I guess, October 23rd. So almost two years later, right now, the property is valued at 110,000. So I'm not gonna say double the value, but 80, 90% a value increase and I'm gonna keep that property it is a very low uh, payment for the mortgage and with Airbnb hopefully I make two grand a month and we'll see how it's gonna go so guys if you want to start your real estate journey it is not that hard all you need to know is the rules of the game and that's why you need to listen to channels like mine to familiarize yourself with what the rules of the games are don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe that was the video for today thank you very much for your time for watching this video i hope if you're passionate about real estate you get into your next property soon uh, next friday i'm going to talk about my third property and how i got that one a week or maybe less than a week before the country closed due to the pandemic see you next time guys keep hustling